Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to cheat HD geometry. Um, you know, normally in production we need to have a lot of detail in our models and sometimes we need to we have a very big close-ups, let's say the eyes or the shoulders or legs or hands. And, and most of the time only divide the model, the, the full creature in, in ZBrush like, show me, like this will be not enough. Sometimes 50 million polygons in a creature is not enough. Forget all the small details that we need. Um, so we have two ways to do it. The first way will be make polygroups, polygroups of the creature, uh, divide it and split it like this. So we will, let's duplicate this one. We will divide this creature until we get around 50 millions and we will make a split group split and divide the pieces a couple of more times right so that will be one way to do it and the second way and is a the second way will be hd geometry now it's a third way that is with HD geometry, and it's a trick that no a lot of people knows, um, and it's super good. I found it a couple of weeks ago, um, and it's very very good. I really like it. So let's delete this stuff. Okay. So we have our polygroups here, right? We're going to work in HD in this case. Um, we are going to divide this model. Normal, normally HD works very well between two and five million polygons. So we're going to go now 2.9 is good enough. Now we're going to go to HD, show me three HD. We're going to press divide. One time, 11, 47 millions. 188 millions, that's pretty good. So what the HD does is, let's say that we where we put the cursor and we press A, all right. Now, all of this area is going to have HD. Go in solo mode, all of this have HD. Um, <clears throat> and we if we press A again, we go out of HD. Normally, we'll always so, so, uh, take a portion that is around 40 million polygons. So let's say I take my arms, and in my poly polygroups of the arms, and it will only the polygroup of the arms is around, I think it's around 20 millions. So we don't want to work with the arms because it's a bit lighter. So let's do something. What's the pros and the cons of HD geometry? The pros is you don't need to split the model. You can work connections. The cons is that you can't use layers. You can't, um, it's not as user-friendly with the rest of ZBrush, right? You can duplicate the subtool, um, have quite a bit of cons. You change topology is a problem and all that kind of things. But I'm going to simplify that a little bit. So what is doing HD when I when I apply it? What is what is doing is at least what I think it's doing is cutting the model and subdividing the model. So it's splitting the area and get more subdivisions, right? In this case, it's one more. So you can see that I have three subdivisions here, right? Uh, before uh, four subdivisions. Before I have three. Now I have four. All right, so let's go and go away from HD. And I will take one of these polygroups and take it into another tool, right? So I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take the arms that are pretty low. Oops. 
It's very important that you always keep that polygroups. If not, this technique will not work. Uh, oh, also, if you put um, take out the solo and let's go press A. Very nice T. So if you want to have only the arms, so you want to see transparency, now you're in HD mode, right? You can go up and down from the HD. You can see the amount of, let's see if I go here, and you have 40, 407, and I, let's go up. Yes, let's press A. And we just select the polygroup. We're all the way up. Yeah. 407. Perfect. Go here. Yes. Okay. So if you take this, you press A. Good. And you go down. This is solution level free. And you have three more solutions. So you have around 20 something polygons. Okay, cool. Around 26, so 26 million polygons between the two arms. Awesome. So now we're going to take this. We're going to take another subtool, the cylinder, for example. We're going to append it here. Good. Now we have a normal subtool a totally normal subtool with all the solution levels, right? And what we're going to do is a sculpt this subtool. We're going to take, we're going to be doing it very fast so the video don't take half an hour. Awesome very fast stuff, let's do some bigger things, so you know that I'm not cheating. Let's see, do something. Let's try another alpha. Try this. Nice. Let's try something different. Let's try this. Let's do a small one there. There. Good. All right. This. This is more than enough. With this, we're going to be 100% sure that whatever we take into our HD model is what we did here. Good. So I have my solution level 4. I'm going to go to this. Always delete this before exporting a high-res model because a 40 million polygons high-res model with UVs will take you an hour to export. Without the UVs, take you 10 minutes. Uh, in this case, hopefully, will be fast. I'm going to probably pause the recording when I export, so we don't wait for you guys. Don't need to wait for for a couple of minutes. Um, to desktop, that's great. HD arms, all free. To save. Good. So the good thing about this technique is that. You can have different files for your pieces and after have a master scene where you have uh, your HD geometry. This is very good for sharing the model between different people and also for keep the, 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 your zebra scenes more stable. Uh, having, you know, 250 million polygons in, in memory for, in memory sometimes um, makes the scenes very unstable in ZBrush. Uh, so in this way, you can have total control of what you're doing. Uh, and after, you just bring it back into HD. So this is exporting. Let's give it a minute. Almost there. Let's 
let's see. Please don't crash. And is done. Good. So now we're going to come back to our model with HD geometry. That hopefully is this guy. Yes, awesome. So now we are, we are in HD. Let's go out. So you, you guys can see that this is actually working. We have our polygroup, yes. So we select our polygroup. Yeah, we are not in HD mode now. We are going to go into HD mode. This only works because we have the same polygons, right? It's like when you import a model on top of another one in ZBrush, right? If you want to update the shape and you just move some polygons, let's say in another area somewhere so like Maya, Maya, and you bring it back into the solution level one, two, or three, wherever you prefer, and uh, in top in top of the same subdivision, it will update, right? Okay, this is exactly the same. We are in HD geometry. We have our arms here, and we are going to import them again. So. Arms version 03. Let's open. And I'm going to, if you guys wait, we're going to see it here. I'm not going to pause it because I want you guys to see that this works. So hopefully, it will be very fast. So, um, this trick for me was a bit, it's a bit of. Um, Kind of a game changer in what in how it works uh, because this means that I can have much more flexible scenes. I can share more stuff between people, uh, and we can have I can have much more detailed meshes without the complication of splitting or uh, uh, problems changing the shape. You know this works. Done. So what happened? The model was from place for the other one. That's perfect. So if we go out of HD, we have our model, we still have our polygroups, we, we have the detail, we select the arm, we go into HD. have all the high detail there same detail that we did before so yeah this is the uh, this is how you cheat HD geometry I uh, hope you guys like it and please if you like all of these tricks and tips uh, I will still do it I'm going to, I'm going to try to do more uh, all creature tips tricks and uh, show you how how we work a little bit in production if you guys like it just um, Please subscribe, let me know if you like it, and I want to try to, uh, when I get a bit of time, uh, upload more content. Thank you, and have a nice weekend. See ya!